2002 Mercedes E280 limousines. That's a 2.8 litre petrol. As you can see, six door limousine. It does come on that registration plate, that J300 WED. Um, it does come with a car, if that's not clear enough, along with a white Mercedes limo to what it's been doing. It's been used as a wedding car. Um, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's wing, the whole thing could do with a really good scrub down. It's covered in a bit of dirt and grime. It's sort of sat around for a couple of weeks in this rain we've been having, but it does look like it would clean up pretty nicely. That front alloy wheel, nice and tidy. Tire's got loads of tread left on it. Nice and clean around the arch. And again, normally you get a bit of rust coming through on this bottom section here, but that's all good. Looking down this side, you can see it's nice and straight all the way down. It's not full of ripples or filler. On this year in make, it's the bottom of the doors you want to look at, which again on these are nice and tidy. Got a couple of little parking dings on the corner there. On that second door, again, nice and tidy. Same story on the third. Like I say, it does want a proper good scrub, scrub down, but doors themselves nice and straight. All the glass on this clear is good. On this side is nice and clear. This trim again can be a bit murky and horrible, but this one's all nice. We do have a little bit of corrosion coming through the seal on the on the middle door. This is nice and solid. It's just starting to come up. It wants to dress before it gets any worse. Roof itself, apart from bird poo, which we'll clean off, that comes for free. Um, it's nice and straight. It's not covered in ripples or dents. Some of these limos can be sort of a bit wavy in the middle and on that middle door, but this one's definitely very good. Nice and clean on that arch on the back. Again, makes of this era, they like to rot down the bottom there, but this one, as you can see, is nice and tidy. Another good wheel and tire. Have another look back up the car from here. Like I say, nice and straight. Round up the back, tail lights are clean and clear and bright. Got a bit of ingrained dirt here and there, like I said, um, that one's sorting out. We do have parking sensors on the back by the looks of the things. Again, no sign of any corrosion coming through the lights or in this, along the top of this handle, which is normally the common area. Boot laid nice and straight around the bottom of the window. That's all good as well. Got some flowers in the back there. It looks like it's got the, the blind as well. Round on the passenger side, nice and straight all the way down. Rear arch, no sign of any corrosion coming through there. Another good wheel and tyre. Got the same issue on this side. There's corrosion coming through on this middle door. Obviously this is the sort of the, the door that is part of the conversion. You, tint, you, you sort of... Um, Clues are on the window, so you've got star glass, whereas everything else is your original make doors. Um, but they do both sides, and you seem to have that little bit of bubbling on the top. The other ones are all good, as you can see. All the glass on this side, nice and clear. Not really any marks, you know, on the, on the, on the bodywork. Again, like I say, it is very dirty, so things like that do just wipe off. Bottoms of the doors, all nice and tidy. This, this middle door again, we've got a bit of a chip down the bottom there where it's been open on something. It's just starting to corrode. Up the A pillars are all nice and tidy. Leading edge of the windscreen is good. Windscreen itself is nice and straight and clean. There's no delamination on the bottom like there can often be. And then this front arch, again, clean all the way around. Another good wheel and tyre. It sits nice and level, as you can see. It's driven to us this one as well, which is always good. I've got parking sensors on the front as well, actually. Headlights are nice and clear. The grille is good. It's not really many stone chips. You've got one or two very minor ones, but very, very minor, like I say. And the bonnet itself, nice and straight. Moving on to the interior. So the outside does want a good, good scrub, but the inside is lovely and clean. It's got that nice tan leather with the darker tops and the wood. Nice and clean on that door card. Driver's seat's got a little bit of wear on the sort of inside of the seat. It looks grubbier on the camera than it does in, 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 in real life. You can see the backrest is nice and clean. A little bit of patina on the steering wheel, but generally pretty good. 61,000 miles on this one. Um, we've got sort of air con and all that sort of stuff. Headlight washers, uh, six rows of electric windows. The blind, there is the blind, it's it's electric, as are the mirrors, and then trunk release electric air uh, mirrors, like I say. Aftermarket head unit in there as well, that is removable, uh, the, like a removable fascia one as well, should you want to do that. Second row, nice and tidy. It's got the button for the uh, to do the electric reclining on the middle row of seats, which is quite nice. Electric windows for every passenger. Nice and clean on this middle bench. Backs of the seats on the front are good. Not been kicked or these haven't been stretched out or anything like that. Headlining. It's lovely and tidy all the way down. It's not sagging anywhere or anything like that. Nice and clean on that door card. And into the back. This is basically your standard Mercedes rear seat. It's the middle section that's the addition. 
they've done a very nice job of matching it all in it looks factory if you like and then into the boot we've got uh, some accessories you might need so there's some brollies for the bride and things like that some uh, some pillows and a picture of the car on the job nice and clean in the boot other than that and then into the back rear seats all nice and clean like i say really very little wear on those headlining is all good it's got two sets of mats it's got an aftermarket set and then bins which i believe are the company that did the conversion and then the factory so we've got three sets of mats in the back lovely and clean on that middle row again like i say you've got electric windows and then the center section has the electric recline adjustment And then front passenger side, nice and tidy on that door card. I mean, this seat's going to see very little use. Really no sign of anywhere at all. Even the cream seatbelts all round, lovely and clean. No marks across this side of the dash. And then we'll have a look under the bonnet. Like I said, it was driven to us. It's got the 2.8 litre, six cylinder Mercedes petrol. Lovely smooth engine. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through on any of the slam panels or inner wings. We'll, uh, we'll get it fired up. Firing up on the button. Nice and smooth there. Exactly as you expect, like I say, six on the Merc. Wouldn't expect anything less. So there you have it. Mercedes six door limousine E280 with the registration plate J300WED. Any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.